Recording audio is sometimes misunderstood and taken for granted. For example, if you're on a film set, uh, there are a lot of people will just gravitate to the, the fancy camera or the director or the actors performing. Uh, but the truth is they don't understand it fully when it comes to audio. Audio is much more complex than just press record and point it at what you want to hear. In my experience, I have learned that there is m as much effort and attention to detail in the audio as there is in cinematography with the camera. Because there are a lot of variables that could go right, could go wrong, and you need to be ready for everything that could be thrown your way. That all leads me to this little guy right here. The Zoom F6 is a field recorder that has a little bit of magic in it, but in this video, I'm going to show you how that magic actually works. When you first see the Zoom F6, it looks small in size and it looks fragile. But the size is really the only thing that might make it seem a little bit inadequate. This thing is very sturdy and it, it works very well as a field recorder that is brought around and then taken around and just not beat up, but it can handle itself. It can hold its own. The LCD screen, just like the body, is small, but it's large enough that you can see all the information it has to offer. On the bottom of the LCD screen, you have three buttons. You have the stop button, the record button, and the play button. The record button and the play button both light up, which is really cool. The record red and the play green. On the sides of the LCD screen, you got four buttons. On the top left, you have a menu button. On the bottom left, you have the accept or OK button. And on the right, you have the navigation buttons up and down. Along the sides of the face of the recorder, there are six gain knobs that are really cool. And they're all the same with a dash mark to indicate where you are in the uh, level and a textured rim to be precise with your gain uh, adjusting. Also, it has a locking mechanism when you put it all the way down to zero so that you know that it's off and you are at zero. Moving along to the left side, we see three of the six locking XLR inputs. The locking is a clutch, very clutch component to this because wires are always getting pulled and yanked and uh, moved around, especially if you're on the fly, if you're on got in a bag and you got wires moving all over the place. It's nice to have them locked in, just like the um, other end of the XLR that goes into the mic, it's locked as well. Not all recorders have this, so it's nice to have it. In the top right of the left side, you have a slot where you could put a Bluetooth adapter. Now the Bluetooth adapter doesn't come with the recorder, but you could buy it with it if you'd like, when you get it, if you'd like. The Bluetooth adapter is only compatible with the F controller mixer. Basically, it's just a little mixer that you could hold on the side if you don't, if you want someone to be a boom operator and you could control the levels right there. Or you can have an iOS app uh, that is also compatible with it, which is nice because then you could record, you can leave it in the bag and then you could adjust it on the fly with your phone. Next to the Bluetooth adapter slot, there is a line out that you could put to uh, a camera or another mixer or another recorder or whatever you may need it for. Finally, on this side, there is a USB-C slot. And uh, this can be used for a couple of things. It's actually able to be a power source so if you want to power it uh via usb that's perfect and it's indefinite uh also it's good for being an audio interface now this is clutch because if you are an audio recordist and you do stuff on the side and if you do also stuff in a small studio like i do it's it doubles it, it could help you out in a couple of ways and six inputs is a lot when you want to record like music or multiple like inputs like a band or whatever it is i wouldn't do a whole drum set 
you might be able to get one drum set on the whole thing though. Moving over to the right side of the recorder, you have three more locking XLR inputs. Like I said, clutch, very nice zoom. I like that little touch on there. It makes it really nice to have and not worry about it. One less thing to worry about, right? Above that, you have a dial that adjusts the volume for your headphones, which also clicks in and there are multiple settings that you could set for your audio levels. I haven't messed around with it yet, but I know that it has an option for that. Next to the dial, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, regular headphones. Next to that, you have a 3.5 millimeter time code sync. So that's something you would put to a re another recorder, or you could also put it to a, uh, a camera that has the same compatibility. That's probably more plausible for recording. DSLRs, as far as I know, some of them don't, most of them don't have a time code. So you have to do clap syncing, but you should always do clap syncing just, just in case, you never know. Finally, on that side, you have a power button. Now the power, the power button, flower, <laughs> power button is flush with the body. And it's uh, not something that you would accidentally bump, but I kind of wished it was a locking mechanism like I had in my H5. But it's not a deal breaker. It's not a big deal. It's just me being a little bit picky. Got to find something to critique because I could boast about this thing all night. Next, we're going to go to the back of the Zoom F6. Now, there's two things that are here that are very crucial. One, there is the SD card slot. I am thanking the Zoom gods because they did it. I've been working with an H5 for a while now, and most handy recorders, most, most lower budget or smaller recorders, audio recorders, can't handle a higher SD card. I guess maybe it's just the processing that within the actual recorder that they don't want to put the extra money in to make it cheap, cheaper. So the Zoom F6 doesn't have that problem. The H5 can only handle up to 32 gigabytes. The Zoom F6 can handle 512. And considering audio files, even at its highest bitrate and highest uh, quality, you, you'll have plenty of space if you put 512 gigs in there. The second feature on the back, which is a little bit questionable, well, I'll get to it in a second, is a option for the Sony L-Series battery. The only thing I have wrong with it is that it's in front of the SD card slot. Don't know why. I really don't understand why. It's not a deal breaker, but I'm a little bit confused of why they did that. I guess it's because of it's so small that you needed to put it somewhere and that's probably the most plausible place because it's out of the way of all the goings on within it. The top of the Zoom F6 is uh, pretty sleek and sexy, and it's got uh, some industrial vibes to it. Uh, it's got some sweet uh, text on there, and also four large screws. These four large screws are not just for aesthetics and looking fine. Uh, it's actually used to put on a platform, an elevated platform, for a camera. Now this is used for if you want to put it on a tripod, or if you want to put it on a desk, you could do that as well. Um, to have a adjustable mount for a small camera. You could probably put a bigger camera on there, but uh, it's made. it looks like it's made for just DSLRs. I would, I would try to put something bigger on, but I don't know. I don't have anything bigger. Finally, we got the bottom of the Zoom F6. Now on the sides, we got two pretty cool bars with rollers on it. So it, it's kind of like got some rubber kind of rollers on it it's really interesting and in the center there is a quarter 20 screw hole so you can put that on a tripod or any kind of mount if like if you wanted to get one of those mounts uh that you would have a uh, green screen or some type of thing that has that quarter 20 screw on there you could slap it on that and if you want you could just carry it around if you'd like it's an option 
also there is a locking cartridge kind of for four AA batteries. Now I mentioned that there is the USB-C option to put it into a wall outlet. There is the option for the Sony L-Series batteries, which is pretty cool. And there is the traditional four AA battery option in the bottom with a locking little screw nut in there. Screw nut? Screw, there's no nut. So overall, as far as the build is concerned on the Zoom F6, like I said, it, it is small, but it's deceiving. It's like a little giant. It's It's got a lot of features and it's, it's pretty sturdy. Like it could handle uh, being lugged around and uh, brought around and you don't have to be too careful. I would be careful like with anything, any technology and you'll have it in a bag because you should have a bag. It's not something like a handy recorder. It's not a handy recorder. It's a field recorder. So you need to put it on something, either a stand or a tripod or in a bag. Since we're on the subject of bags, here is the Zoom F6 bag right here. It has two sections on the side here where you can access the uh, XLRs and the other components on the sides. You got the top section here where you could actually see into it and adjust the levels as well. And you got the bottom here, which got a little clip there where you can get to the battery and the SD card. Very cool. It's made this, this one specifically is made for the zoom F6. I'll put that in the description down below of where to find it. Hey everybody, thank you for watching that part of my Zoom F6 field recorder review. Obviously, we went through the exterior and all the hardware on the outside. Part two will be all about the menu system and what's going on internally of this field recorder. So if you want to see that video, please hit the subscribe button and that bell to know exactly when it's coming out. And until then, take care, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Don't worry, I brought my key. <laughs> It's kind of making a lot of noise. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall. <laughs> hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? I couldn't help it. It was too funny. <laughs>